This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. And right now I'm on the concept challenge middle point. Challenge level goals. Protect peasants for 30 seconds. Okay. Use at least one concept. Use x, y coordinates to move. Use if statements to avoid building extra traps. Let's do both. This is a combo challenge. Prevent the ogres from invading the village by moving to each X mark. X, X, yep. It's best if you only build a trap when you see an ogre. You'll need to use these concepts, X, Y coordinates and if statements. So what we really want to know is, what we really need to know here is there is a hidden graph, right? If you hover the mouse over, X is 42 here, Y is 30. Where do those numbers come from? Just like in math, there's a secret graph where y, X is from left to right or horizontal and Y, the Y point of a graph, goes up and down or vertical. You can even see if I go way down here, the zero, zero point is somewhere down there. So we're going to use those points to move. We're going to have our hero build fire traps to stop, stop at each X marks in the loop build a fire trap to stop the ogres. All right, so I need to stop at this X mark. X is 32, Y is 52. And I'm gonna use move X, Y. So I'm gonna type in move, pops up for me, hero.moveXY. I need to delete this X and type in, what did I say? 32 and Y is 52. So delete the Y, 52. And now, build trap, I need to look for an enemy. So variable, I'm making a variable enemy equals, oops, I'm going to, whoa, 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 my goodness. I'm going to try to do this the easy way now and just do find nearest enemy. There we are. Um, and so VAR, what that means is variable. Just like in math, if you had Y plus two equals four, if y plus two equals four, well, what equals four plus two? Two plus two equals four. So y really means two plus, it really equals two there. We could say enemy plus two equals four. Well, enemy really means two there. Here, we're making a variable and enemy represents this action. Our hero is gonna look around. If our hero finds an enemy, enemy then equals whoever our hero found. So he gives that enemy a new name. He names them enemy. If this was Fred, he would be naming the enemy Fred. Now, if our hero looks around and finds nobody, nobody, then enemy still exists. We already told the computer variable, make this variable, but equals hero looks around and finds no one. Enemy then equals nobody, or it would be called undefined. So if enemy equals nobody, there's no reason to build a fire trap. And that's why we're going to use an if statement. If I'm going to go ahead and click, make sure you have these brackets here and here. This is the start of your if, this is the end. If this is true, anything in between those brackets runs. If it's not, the computer just skips this code and keeps going. So if enemy, hmm, will that make sense? Well, yeah, that's actually what we need right there because we're having the if statement check. If enemy, does enemy equal an enemy? Or did our hero look around and say nothing and enemy equals nothing? If enemy equals nothing, this is considered false and the computer skips all this code and it starts running after this bracket. If enemy exists, if there is an enemy, this would equal true. And that's when our computer runs the code inside of this, inside of these two brackets. So we're supposed to build a fire trap. So build, hmm. Let's make sure we got this list of units, hero build types array read. Okay. So what we want to do is this hero build. Yep. So that's the build we need. Just checking build types. Whoop. And I clicked the wrong thing. Build X, Y. We don't want a fence. What do we need? We need a fire trap. So fire hyphen trap uh where do we want it if we're standing on this 
Can we build it? I don't know, right in front of us. 3452. 3452. So our hero is only going to build that trap if there's an enemy around him. All right, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this code. And now we want to move down to this X. So hero move to 32, 34, move. Remember, X comes first, and I said 32, and then this is going to be 34, okay? And now enemy, I'm going to use enemy again. I don't have to write VAR because enemy exists. It already exists. We already created it. We're just going to be make enemy equals something new. Enemy equals fi blah, blah, blah. find hero dot find. There we are. Nearest enemy. Boom. And so now again, once our hero gets here, our hero is going to look around. And if there's an enemy, enemy equals that enemy. If there is no enemy, if our hero looks around, enemy now equals nothing. So we want to check. Does enemy equal an enemy or does enemy equal nothing? Going to click on that. And that's exactly what we need, enemy. If enemy exists, well, if they exist, we're gonna build a fire trap. Build X, Y. This should be fire trap, apparently. Trap, 36. Well, where would we wanna build it? Maybe just a step ahead of them. 34, 34, okay? And over here, X is first, just like it was in the other places, and then Y, okay? And then finally, let's have our hero move to 3216. So move 3216. And then let's, we don't have to redeclare enemy, it exists. Oh, I'm going to get rid of VAR because I don't need it. We already declared enemy way up here. So we're just going to look around for the nearest enemy. If that exists, well, we should check if enemy exists. And what are we going to do? Build fire, rope, oh, fire, trap. And then where would we build it? Let's build it at 34 or 16. Maybe I have these points right. We'll see if it will. he will build. Let's hit run to check. This is looking successful. I'm going to hit submit. Uh oh, we have a problem. Oh, I know what it was. Our hero didn't move. He built this trap and stood there, right? And blew up. All right? here. So what we should do is we should now have this all repeat. So our hero goes back up here and checks them all again. How can we make something repeat? A wall true loop. I'm going to delete this bracket because what do we want to repeat? All of this. And therefore, our we want this to end down there. And you can tell if I put my cursor near the bracket, it highlights where it ends. Okay, let's try that one. Huh. Well, that was not successful. Let's go back and see what happened. Hmm. So this is going well. Right at first, I lay out a fire trap, enemy gets hit, lay out a fire trap, enemy gets hit. Then, good, right? Here, that enemy gets by us because he actually came down. If you look, he's coming down before there's an enemy up here. So I think I need to stop. Instead of going from this point all the way back to up here, I should stop in the middle each time. Hmm. How could I do that? Well, to do that, I'm using a loop. 
So I would need to, which point was the middle? It should be this stuff right here. I'm gonna take all this code where I stop in the middle and check for an enemy. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna add it again down here. So that way, everything too, and this wall too, repeats. So I'm gonna say, go here, check, go here, check, go here, check. And then after that, I'm gonna go back to the middle and check, and then it's gonna loop. Go to the top, check. Go to the middle, check. Go to the bottom, check. Then go back to the top, check. All right, let's see if this is any more successful. Third time is the charm. We finally got it. All right, let's keep going. 